All right then gang, so we've been talking about states and use input, and now I'd like to move on and talk about lists in React Native. So say for example, we have a list of data, how do we then output that list of data in our React Native component? Well, right here, you can see I've created this bit of state called people, and we have a function as well, set people, and that is equal to use state, and the initial value is this array of objects, and each object represents a person. We have a name property, and also a key property. Now we need the key property because when we output lists inside React, React needs to keep track of the different elements that we output and we use that key property for each one of those elements. So now let's look at how we can output these. But first of all, notice I've stripped back all of the code from inside the container and also the container styles themselves I have changed. I've commented out align items and justify content so that the content is no longer in the middle and instead I've added padding top which is 40 and padding horizontal so left and right padding of 20. So the content should now be at the top here somewhere. Now don't worry about these properties yet I am going to explain flexbox and these different layout properties later on but for now let's not worry too much about them. So how do we take this data cycle through it and output it in some kind of template? Well what we could do is just use a simple array function in JavaScript and that function is the map function. So the map function cycles through an array and performs a function on each item in the array and can return a value for each item in the array too. And what we want to do is return some kind of template or component tree for each item in the array. For example, we could return a text component for each item in the array and inside that text component we output the name. Does that make sense? So let's do that. So to use a bit of dynamic code, some JavaScript, first of all, we need to put that inside curly braces. So I'm gonna say people, which is this array, this piece of state. And because it's an array, I can use the map method. And inside here, we pass a function. And that function is gonna execute for each item inside this array. So first for this item, then this, then this, then this, and so forth. So inside this, this is where we want to return some kind of JSX template for each item inside the array. Now, when we perform this function for each item, we have access to that individual item on every iteration. And we have access to it inside this function. So we can take it in. I'm going to call it item, but you can call it whatever you want. But that value we get automatically. So in here, we can now return some kind of JSX template for each item in the array. So I'm gonna do a view first of all, and let me close that as well, view. And inside that view, I'm gonna do a text widget. And then inside the text widget, I'm gonna output the item name. So I grab the item, which we have access to, then get the name property. Remember, item refers to the object on each iteration. So I'm grabbing the name property from the item each time around. So, now we've done that, let's save this and look at it over here. Fingers crossed this works. We should see all the items. We do, but we get this error. Warning, each child in a list should have a unique key prop. So it's saying that every time we return some JSX right here, the parent component, the component that surrounds the rest of the content every time we return something, has to have a key prop to identify this. So we can say key is equal to item dot key. And that's why we had a key property on each one of these things. So first time it will be one, then two, then three, then four, then so forth. So each time we return a bit of JSX, the parent component, the thing that surrounds the rest of the stuff has a unique key assigned to it. And that's what React Native was complaining about right here. So if we save this now, then we should see this work Okay, it works, we output each of the names, and now we no longer get that warning at the bottom. So first of all, I'm gonna do a little bit of styling on these things. So what I'd like to do is apply a style property to this text. So style is equal to styles.item, and we need to create this item property down here. So item, and then this is just gonna contain a few simple styles. So first of all, a margin top, and that is going to be equal to 24 and then a 
padding property and that is going to be 30 pixels then we'll give this a background color of pink and then we'll say font size is going to be 24. okay so if i save this now hopefully we'll see these a bit bigger and with a background color of pink there they are okay so first thing you're going to notice that some of the names go off the screen now if i try to scroll by clicking and shifting up or just swiping on my real device then it's not actually going to scroll and that might seem a bit bizarre but that's how react native apps work by default if we want something to be scrollable we then have to surround it with a scroll view component to say look whatever is inside this component we want the user to be able to scroll through this so we need to surround all of this stuff right here all of the list with a scroll view component so first of all let's input that we need to get rid of text input because we don't need that anymore and then scroll view oops let's actually do this correctly scroll view okay so that's a component we need to wrap around all of this to say look we want a user to be able to scroll through this stuff so let me do that scroll view and again typing it completely incorrectly and grab the closing tag and paste it at the bottom this time and if i save this in fact i'm going to scoot this in save it then hopefully fingers crossed we should now be able to scroll through the list and we can see that little bar there as we scroll the bar moves and we can now scroll through the list awesome so this now works we've output this list of people inside a simple template for each person and we can now scroll through that as well now i just want to refactor this a little bit first of all since this is an arrow function and it only takes one parameter we don't need these parentheses and secondly instead of opening up this curly brace and then manually typing out return we can just implicitly return this by taking out the return keyword and scooting this back up here like so and we can get rid of the closing curly brace as well and move this back up and that does exactly the same thing so this time because it's on the same line we're just returning this bit of jsx right here so if i save it it should be no different we see all the names and we can scroll through them okay so this all works and this is one way to output a list of data in some kind of template now there is another way to do lists which is sometimes simpler so what i'm going to do is show you that in the very next lesson